A traditional nuclear stress test consists of two parts. In the first part, the patient either exercises on a treadmill or in patients who cannot exercise, we induce stress by giving them an injection of a chemical. The second part of the test uh, consists of taking pictures on a camera. And in a traditional camera, patients have to lie still for 10 to 12 minutes to accomplish the test. And the design of a traditional camera induces claustrophobia uh, in some patients. Patients with heart disease um, also have back pain. Uh, they have difficulty breathing, especially when they are in the supine position. So many patients find it quite difficult to lie down for 10 to 12 minutes at a time, especially if they have to hold completely still. And these patients really um, find the DSPECT camera uh, a much easier test to undergo. We've had a couple of patients who were unable, completely unable to be imaged on the traditional camera and we were able to successfully get very nice pictures on the DSPECT camera. So the DSPECT camera is a highly efficient camera and because of that we can complete imaging with much less radiation dose than the traditional cameras. In addition to positioning, the DSPECT also uh, allows us to image patients with a much lower radiation dose than the traditional camera, or we have the option of keeping the radiation dose the same but reducing imaging times to as low as two minutes. When we first bought the DSPECT camera, we imaged several patients both on the DSPECT and the traditional camera, and all of those patients liked the DSPECT camera much better. They loved the fact that imaging was quick, uh, they could complete the test sitting up without holding their arms above their head and they also liked the fact that it was associated with a low radiation dose.